All right, break out your maps. Break out your burgundy maps. Because now we're going to talk about uh, uh, secrets. We're going to talk about special places, places that not too many people know about. This is um, the label here. The, the label's pretty, you know, it's just Sanya Montmarche. It's got this Blanchot de Sou. You know, what's a, what's a Blanchot de Sou? Well, for years, we didn't know what a Blanchot de Sou was. But for years, we were drinking it. And it was from a different Moray, Jean-Marc Moray, was making a wine that he just called Chassagne Montmarché. And this was back in the late 80s, early 90s. And we just remember, you know, because we worked with a friend of ours in the Burgundy business that was very astute, rock solid. I mean, this guy knew his stuff. And every year, he would tell us, you know, oh, this, the Chassagne Montmarché is released. And we're like, well, it's Chassagne Montmarché, you know, what's the big deal? And after the first time we tried this wine, uh, we were blown away. We're like, oh my God, this, this says like regular Chassagne Montmarché. It's not even Premier Cru, but um, it tastes like, like Grand Cru juice. I mean, this is like one of the greatest wine deals in creation. And it, and it sold for, I don't know, like 50 bucks a bottle at the time. And it was only later, you know, when, when our friend told us, he's like, well, it's about the vineyard. And we're like, well, what? It's just Chassagne Montmarché. What vineyard could this be? And he said, well, it's a vineyard called Blanchot de Sioux. And uh, we had never heard of it. And it doesn't show up like, you know, a lot of these Burgundy maps, they'll just have the, they'll just show the Grand Cruise and the Premier Cruise, but they don't show the Village vineyards, the Village vineyards on these maps, because the Village vineyards are, man, they're Village vineyards. But if you look on a Burgundy map and you go to a little section, you, you look at uh, Mont Rocher, and then underneath it's Batard Mont Rocher, and then next to it is Creole Batard Mont Rocher. These are all the Grand Cruise in Burgundy. These are the wines that sell for, you know, 200 bucks plus a bottle, all the way up to, you know, Mont Rocher sells for thousands. And if you look in, if you look next to Creole, there's this little like blank spot. And, and next to Creole, this little blank spot, and well, it's like, well, what's that? And that little blank spot next to the Grand Cru is Blanchot de Sioux. It's essentially um, a village vineyard, a humble little village vineyard, but it's adjacent uh, to Creole Petard Mont Rocher, one of the best Grand Cru, one of the greatest Chardonnay vineyards in the world. So for years we were drinking that $50 juice, not labeled Blanchot de Sioux, and eventually uh, Moray lost that parcel, went to another, uh, another producer who was not quite as good, but the wine was still great because it was you know, Blanchot de Sioux. But uh, what we found out is there are other folks that own little bits and pieces of Blanchot de Sioux. And one of them is, of course, another one of the Morays. It's uh, Domaine Marc Moray, and he makes just a little wee smidgen, just a couple barrels of this fabulous Chassagne Montrachet Blanchot de Sioux, which I think is on the shelf probably around 70 bucks. But Again, let's talk about it. Um, even though it's village level wine, at 70 bucks, it sounds expensive for a village level wine. But this ain't no village level wine. This is essentially Grand Cru. I mean, it is right there. So even though it may sound like a lot for what you're getting, it's actually one of the best deals in Burgundy. And uh, there's painfully little of it. I mean, we only received maybe three boxes here uh, personally. And it just gets snapped up. Because people, they almost don't shop the producer per se. This is one of the things where they're, where they're shopping the site. Because the vineyard is such a cool insider vineyard and so few people make it in such small quantities that it's really just, this is just more of like a, hey, psst, Mac, look at this, it's here, type deal, as opposed to, you know, anything else. So there you go. Uh, you've been informed. Blanchot de Sioux is in the house. Mark Moray, we got it. Come and get it.